Hey people, this is Shapino here. Welcome you guys to episode number 13 of the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure to like button down below for us because as always the support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode you guys, we did make our way up through Route 18, Route 119, got a bad encounter, got a fossil, bad Pokemon, or repeat Pokemon, and we got ourselves a gift Pokemon of cast form, but it turns out it was a bad Pokemon as well. So, last episode was just bad, 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 bad. But today, we're going to go ahead and head over to Fortresses. Let's go ahead and have a look at the team that we are rocking it with today for your lovely peoples at home. Hopefully you guys are staying safe where you are. You're not affected by the coffee, coffee virus. So we have ourselves Pancakes, the Snorlax, Petey, the Victory Bell, Petri, the Aerodactyl, our starter, Kamek, the War Tortle, Fortune is up too. Sentry the Absol, that is our team. Now, I've got to rearrange the team a bit because now we've got some level 33s up in here, so, you know, we've got to try to share the love around, you know, make sure everyone getting up there, level 33. So, that looks good. Okay, let's move along. Anything down here? Oh, there's an item. A sharp, another sharp beak. I would ever cease to be amazed at finding repeat items in this game. Just this game, for some reason. I'm finding a lot of repeat items. Sharpino, so this is where you've been looking for Pokemon. Let me see how good you've got. I'll test you. Now, it's a battle. So, battle. Brendan, after the last battle we've had, you better not bring out the Molly Wobbles. Kakuna. <laughs> oh, Nelly. Step back, people. we got a Kakuna up in here. Let's go. Manetric. That's a problem. Alright, uh, we don't have an immunity to it. So, the only one we have is... I'll probably say Pancakes might be the best option. I'm gonna spark it up. Let's go for a Body Slam. You're gonna howl on me. Let's see how Body Slam goes. Ooh, we get the Paralysis though. Nice! Headbutt! Down goes that Manetric. Maybe! And no statics. So that's even better. Last Pokemon? Torko Tor Torko! Okay, so we got some of the Tor as it goes for a protect. Like, you can't protect yourself another time, though, young boy. And he tries to body slam me! It's a body slam fest! It's a sumo wrestling competition! Who can out sumo who? Who can slam on each other? Well, I have the strength to take out the competition, and that's what happened. Haha! <laughs> hmm, you've gone pretty darn decent. Bitch, you can't even beat me in a battle! Shut the fuck up! I'd say you're good enough to search for Pokemon anywhere! Oh, Brit! Shut up! You're not Professor Birch! Shut up! Here, I'll give you this to try. Try it out. HMO2 Fly! That's very good now! Use Fly and your Pokemon instantly carries you to any town you've already visited. But you need the Fortree Gym Badge to do that. Anyway, I have to move along here. Now, I will say Fly is actually pretty good because Putting that on Patriot, it's more powerful, so the Choice Band definitely will become more clutch. So yeah, it's a lot better than Wing Attack. Ha <laughs> ha Way to go, Sharpino! I just passed by a trainer riding a bike. You just beat that trainer, didn't you? It was pretty obvious that you did. Okay, unless you're some sort of psychoanalyst. I don't see how you can say that, but whatever. That kid looked really upset with a face all red from anger. <laughs> yeah, he did. I'm sure it seemed to run off into you often. Are you off to Fortree Gym next? I expect that you'll do well at the gym. Well, I'll be seeing ya. Okay, so let's go ahead, head to our bag, head to our HMs over here. And let's teach Fly to our Petri over here. Actually, you know what? We can actually teach it to Fortune as well. You know what? I feel like teaching it to both wouldn't actually be a bad idea. Because honestly, like, Fly is a lot better than bloody Peck. And I mean, we've had Peck this whole goddamn time. It's not like he can learn anything else. So this is all still Route 118. So we're not getting ourselves a new encounter anytime soon. A Gramble. Right, let's go ahead and check out our... We missed. Seriously? We missed a fly. God damn it. And we're both paralyzed. <laughs> this this Gramble just copping some bad luck over here. Far out. I feel so bad for the Gramble now. <laughs> Alright, let's go and put Kamex here. To lurk in shadows. To live in darkness. That is my destiny. I want to... I emerge to challenge you. Okay, you must have challenged me. Okay, young young Padawan. War Toidle! Rock Smash. And we got that defense drop. Let's go. 
We're pretty much evening out his defense curls. That's pretty funny. So pretty much all it's doing is nothing, because our rock smashes are pretty much equating the <laughs> defense curl. <laughs> That's funny. Something unseeable sees in the way. Ah, we need the um the Devon Co thing from good old Steven. Alright, so we got ourselves a mock up in here. Muck, 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 muck it up. Muck, 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 muck it up. Clean up, muck. And we have a dragon here. Okay, let's go for bites. Just because um, I don't think uh, soifs would be a good idea. We get the flinch, though. That's what we're fishing for. And we get another flinch. Camix FT dubs. Let's go. We got more of these pomming berries. Now, the good news is about getting fly is that we can go now back to um, Moorville to get the bike swap over because. Man, how many times do we have to do that? It is ridiculous because you come to certain parts and you know you want to get the secret items or whatever's over there and you can't because of the god dang freaking shit there. Ultra Balls! Hell yeah! Forty should be enough though. Um, Hyper Potions, uh, yes please, let's go 14 of those. Now, is there anything we can sell? Let's go over here. Actually, you know what? TMs? Yeah, let's get rid of Tackle because fuck that. Um, Magikite, fuck that. Double kick, yeah, fuck that. Pfft. Sonic boom, yeah, you can get out of here with that shit. Pfft. At least we're making our money back on those. <laughs> um, okay, so what else can we sell? We can sell HP uppies, that's nice. Red candy, we can hold on to that. Die hits. Uh, deep sea tooth, PP uppie, red shot. No, I think we can get rid of March of Brace. I think we can get rid of that. So we're, we're making good bank though. That is pretty good. I love the music here. Da, 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 da. People in Pokemon have adapted for survival. Um, yeah, that's just everything, you know? Everything and changes. Which is the point. I actually thought this was pretty cool when it first came out. I won't lie, guys. So, let's see. Welcome. How may I help you? Oh, this is stuff for your bases, right? Yeah, nah. I'm, I'm dipping. I'm out of here. Thank you. Thank you kindly. No, thank you. There. Go bird Pokemon. I asked my ring girl to run an errand for me. Okay, good for you. Yes, being close to Pokemon is wonderful, I agree. No one believes me, but I saw this gigantic Pokemon in the sky. It seemed to squirm as it flew toward Route 131. By the way, you smell I'm smooched. Were you at the volcano or something? Actually, yes I was. A couple episodes ago. What's that thing you have there? Oh, it's called a Pokedex. That's really awesome. Okay. Well, speaking of Pokedex, I remembered something. Um... He might be stronger than Jim Lee in this town. Okay, um, I'm just trying to find something. I'll hold the coin in my hand and tell me. Right or left? Let's go right. Oh yes, correct. Which hand has palmed the coin? Right or left? Right again. Oh yes, correct. Which hand have I palmed? Right or left? Left. Oh splendid, your hidden power is terrific. So this would be hidden power, which means that every single Pokemon can learn this. But the question is, what has it been randomized to? Is it actually still hidden power? Wait a second. It's TM10. It's wing attack. BITCH! <laughs> and everyone can learn it! <laughs> I'll trade you my Dragonair for my Spearow. Who on earth would do that? That is ridiculous. No fucking way would anyone do that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, alright. Oh shit, that's a fucking Moltres! Hello! Yeah, get that Soif on there, you can take this Water Gun. You know what, I feel disappointed by how much they've downplayed Water Gun in the game here. I really am, because it's like, Water Gun in the anime makes it seem like Hydro Pump. But they put it in the game here, and it's like a little freaking Water Gun. Now, we do have another area to encounter Pokemon, which is awesome. Now, let's hope we get ourselves a good encounter, okay? Last episode was pretty darn bad, I gotta say. And we've got some cut areas at the top there, so maybe we can uh, have a look up there and see what's there. Encounter for this area, survey says... A typically Gen 3 Pokemon, it's a Sea Dot. I'll take it, that's a Sea Dot. Alright, a Sea Dot. Um, yeah, I'll take a Sea Dot. And it has Synthesis. Wow, okay, so... Okay, this thing is just going to keep using that. Um, are you good enough to get in the Pokeball there, young Sea Dot? Apparently not. Okay, so... Wrap, 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 wrap it up. Nature's power. Okay, you know what? Get you down. Okay, this thing has growth. And sit. Dude! Fuck off with the synthesis, okay? I'm trying to weaken you 
to the point where you can just jump in the ball here, you know? Alright, Pokeball. There we go, we got ourselves a C dot. C dot, the acorn Pokemon. It hangs up branches and absorbs nutrients. When it finishes eating, its body becomes so heavy that it drops to the ground with a thump. Like a typical acorn. And that's exactly what I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you Acorn. Because you are the Acorn Pokemon. So Acorn has been sent to the PC. Okay. You know what though? That wasn't a bad encounter. I'll take that. I'm happy with an okay encounter. You know, like, Cedar, I really have no qualms with. And we found a big mushroom. In a grassy area. Okay, we could have encountered Suda Widow. Um, still, I think Cedar would be better. Oh, you're Sharpino. Hi, do you remember us from last time? Can you show us how much stronger you've become? Okay, Q interview. Exactly like the same as the last time. Alright, let's Vine Whip the, uh, that, and let's go for a Surf. Scary face. Don't know why you would do that, but, hey, not my show. Wow, that Chameleon took that Surf really well. Ember. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Okay, I was going to say, why did I surf do so little damage? Oh, because it's doubled up on the one Pokemon. Wow, you are something. Can we have an interview? No! Stop with the damn interviews! I don't give a dim a damn. I don't care for your kind, okay? So stop fucking up my tree. So we could have had Sudowoodo, Seedot, Combuskin. Oh, that makes me sad. That makes me sad. I could have had Combuskin. We could have had a Tyrogue! Which could have been into Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, or Hitmontop. I would have loved that just for the uncertainty of what it would become. Because as soon as you evolve it, as soon as you level it up, it would just evolve. So, I'm actually curious to see what that would have evolved into. So let's head over here. Now, I'm going to point this out because just in case I don't get any, you know, hate in the comment section. Now, Steve is about to put me up against a Kecleon. And this Kecleon is going to be a Static Encounter. Whatever the Static Encounter is, I can catch this Pokemon no matter what it is. I can leave it, or I can catch it. Because it's a static encounter. Okay? Just so we got that clear. A lot of people are like, oh, your Kyogre was... No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay? Hmm. Oh, Sharpino, hi. It's been a while. There's something here that you can't see, right? Now, if I were to use this device on the invisible obstacle... No, no. Rather than describing it, I'll show just... I should just show it to you. That would be more fun. Sharpino, are your Pokemon ready for battle? Yes, it is. Sharpino, show me your true power as a trainer. Steven uses the Devon Scope. An invisible Pokemon became completely visible. The startled Pokemon attacked. Okay, now, this would be a Kecleon, but it's been randomized into... Wow! Hot damn! The only reason I'm on my phone now, and I probably should have checked this before, now that we have the Red Eyes as our encounter, I want to see if this Red Eyes does have, um, if it has Explosion as a move. Because we saw that, um, we saw that, uh, let's see, let's see, Red Eyes Gen 3 move sets. I just want to see if it has Explosion or Self Destruct. Okay. So, it would have Icy Wind Curse, Super Power, and Ancient Power. I'm pretty sure that's the move set. I'll just double check it. So it's level one move is explosion, level thirty. So no, it goes back to super power curse icy wind and explosion. <sighs> so it does have explosion. Oh dear, that is pretty bad. That is actually pretty bad. The fact that it does have explosion. If it was level 33, I wouldn't be so nervous because then it would learn Ancient Power. But the fact is that this Red Dice does in fact have Explosion. So I'm really debating whether it is in my best interest to attempt to catch it or just kill it. Okay, use this Icy Wind. That does a lot of damage. You know what? Pancakes, we're gonna need ya. Super Power. I forgot it has that. But you know what? That's actually good. We'll try to yawn it. Alright, let's go for a headbutt. Alright, it hasn't gone for explosion yet. Okay, it's asleep and it's in the red. I think we've got to use those Ultra Balls. Now is the time. 
It's in the yellow, it's asleep. Will it stay in the ball? It's still asleep. That's good. Still asleep. Come on, please. And that's just what happens. I see, your battling style is intriguing. Your Pokemon have obviously grown since I first met you in Doofit. I'd like you to have this Devon scope. Who knows, there may be other concealed Pokemon. <sighs> Thank you. Sharpino, I enjoy seeing Pokemon and trainers who strive together. I think you're doing great. Well, let me let us meet again sometime. Now, now that that's happened, this over here, I know there's another, um, there's another thing over here where that item is. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and heal up here first. Now, I do know that there is another um, Kecleon that is just south of that item that's on that route. Now, because I've attempted to catch the Regice, I can't, whatever this Pokemon is, I cannot attempt to catch it. So, we're going to use this here, and let's see what it would be. And sadly, we can't catch it, because we've already attempted to catch the Regice, and it failed. So, unfortunately, we do have to try to kill this Combuscan. Um, but it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. I mean, that's just that's just the rules of my Nuzlocke. Another fucking Soldier! My god, man! We would have to catch at least three Latiases or Latiases to make that a thing. But, here's the thing, though. If you remember, if we went back on Route 1 at 19, there was an area where we could go ahead and use this Silph Scope. So we could technically use this as a static encounter for this route. So let's go ahead and get this route encounter, which is static. And this is a legal combuscan, which is pretty nice. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. We're gonna probably weaken it down. Um, yeah, let's use a notable. All right, it's trying to bulk up. Oh boy. But we got it. Nice. So combuscan, the young foul Pokemon. It lashes out with 10 kicks per second. Its strong fighting instinct compels to keep its offensive until the opponent gives up. So, I'm going to go ahead and call you KFC, because that's what I call all of my birdie friends over here. And is there an item over here? Nope, it was just a static encounter. Okay, cool. Alright, great. So I think now that we've got that static encounter... I'm so sad I couldn't catch that red ice, but when you catch a Reggie and any sort of randomizer, you have to be prepared for that explosion. Especially in like Gen 4 below, where it's like, um... It's gonna, it's gonna explode, because it knows explosions, so, you know. Okay, so we're here in the gym. When Winona takes to battle, her face shines with beautiful determination. I'm not letting you witness that lovely sight. Winona, that's her name. I couldn't remember her name for the longest time. Bitch, you got a Caterpie. How are you gonna come at me and say, like, oh, you'll never see her face through when you get past me? And you got a goddamn fucking Caterpie. How are you gonna be taken? I can't take you seriously, dude. Nine Tails and Crobat. Okay, this is a more bigger matchup. Most definitely. Alright, let's go ahead and swap into um let's swap into Fortune. Let's go for a surf. Astonish. Okay, that's fine, as long as you don't flinch me. But I'm confused. That is annoying. Surf's gonna come through and do a little bit of damage to both, which is fine. But because we're confused, we really don't have the optimum to use fly. So we'll just go ahead and use the um, use the nightshade. The attack missed. Now both my Pokemon are confused. <coughs> Who would have thought we'd be going up against two Pokemon that are experienced in the ways of the confusion? <coughs> uh, uh, come on, can we stop this? Can <coughs> we stop this? How many confusion turns are we getting? Fuck off! My god, man! We're getting the full hacks again! Like, can we stop? Oh my god! Oh. We finally snap out of confusion, which is great! But dear god, man, we're just getting fucking flogged by goddamn confusion hacks! Like, I can't stand this. I just can't. We finally snap out of confusion. Awesome. And we get a critical hit on that. Nice. And this search should take out both the Arbok and the Murkrow. 
Typhlosion and Chansey. Okay. So we'll go for Surf to take out the Typhlosion. Smokescreen. As long as we don't miss the Typhlosion, that's fine. Soft boiled. Okay. Ember's not very effective. And we missed the goddamn Chansey because of that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. There we go. Down you go. And Fortress level 34 and Kamex level 34. Oh my god, that battle was triggering me so hard. <laughs> oh man, like why was this happening to me? How could this happen to me? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, so we've got level 34s. We'll put up some other Pokemon now. We're going to swap around. Alright. So... Uh, what? Oh, we just go. I don't get it. Um. Ah, that's how we do it. I'm like, I'm thinking for a second, like, wait, what? How am I getting trumped by this? Okay, so now we got ourselves a Remoraid and an Electrode. Okay. Sonic Boom. It misses. As my good old friend Bird says, Sonic Boom! Here comes the big fat body slam. And actually survives, so good for you. Self-destruct. So he killed his own Wurmple. That's all he did. <laughs> and Bell Sprout. And we got a critical hit. <laughs> a double crit <laughs> on the Bell Sprout. My god, man. No love for Bell Sprout. Jesus. <laughs> Oh man, this, uh, this, uh, yeah, this, this battle, guys, this battle. Alright, so, we've got a few more battles left to go before we head up to... Ah, uh, we have to, uh, okay. We have to get that prepared for us to go down, sort of thing, so... Ah, uh, wait, we can't. Huh? I don't get it. You try to go down, you can't. So... Oh, you have to first the trainer to... Right. Okay, now I get it. Now I get it. I hear ya, I hear ya, I hear ya. Wrap it up. Wrap, 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 wrap it up. Encore. Oh, great, you bitch. Oh, man. I hate being encored. And now I'm freaking paralyzed. My god, man. You are an asshole. There we go. So now we go up and up. Then we go down. Then we go like that, then we go up, and now we're clear to go towards Winona. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon first, because we want to make sure that we are prepared. That we are prepared for what is about to come our way. Won't you come my way? But I think Snorlax would definitely be the best Pokemon to kick things off against. I definitely think so. So here we go, Gym Battle number 6! I am Winona. I am the leader of the 4 tree Pokemon Gym. I have become one with bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. However grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I. Okay, so she is doing choreography and battling. Kudos to you, Designer Dudley. War Rain is the first Pokemon. Okay, big boys. We got some big boys in here. And we get paralyzed right off the bat. And we get the paralysis as well, yeah! But my my boy slams are doing way more than yours. Now if I had to guess, I would imagine this is where your trainer uses for store. Hyper Potion. So you're still paralyzed, that's fine. But that did... Is that a high roll or something? Because we're just like, landing most of... And we get double paralysis. <laughs> Alright, so level 34, very nice. Corfish! Corfish fish! Alright, let's go for it. It's gonna go for protect. Oh, you bitch. Trying to double protect? Mate, it don't work. It don't work with me. But you wanna protect again for some reason. Okay, fine. You reduce my speed? I'm paralyzed. I don't give a dimmer damn. Now we have a cascoon over here. And that defense boost and shed skin is home paralysis. God damn it. Don't you have a good Pokemon though? Come on, Warren. No, no. You were talking about how, you know, strong you are and all this jazz, and then you put this stuff in front of me? Like, what is your problem, man? Last Pokemon. Volplume. 
That's acceptable. I'll take that. It's a ball plume. Alright, let's go for a body slam. Mega Drain. We are getting the work done with this here. Alright, so you've used two Hyper Potions, so you shouldn't have any more. But ladies and gentlemen, we get paralyzed. I was about to say, ladies and gentlemen, we defeated Winona with just our Snorlax, because that is what pancakes do. It flattens the competition with maple syrup and melted butter on top. That actually sounds very nice. <laughs> In recognition of your powers, I give you this gym badge. There we go, the Feather Badge. With the Feather Badge, all Pokemon to level 70, even those received through trades, will obey your every command. You will also be able to use the HM Move Fly outside of battle. And this, this is a gift from me. TM40, which usually would be Aerial Ace, but it's been randomized, so it has become Headbutt. Which actually isn't bad. It's not bad, it's not the best, but it's not bad. I mean, Headbutt is... I mean, it's, it's a good move, it flinches. And a lot of pe Pokemon can learn it. Um, the question is, who do I want to teach you to do? Because Sentry's got Quick Attack. Let's have a look at uh, Sentry's moveset. So it has Bounce, Bite, Quick Attack. You know what? I think we can actually get rid of Quick Attack, because really, it, it, it should it should outspeed anyways. So I don't see how that would be an issue. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Hiya, Sharpena. It's me. Just as I thought, you won the Fortree Gym. Your strength. Perhaps you really are the trainer that I've been searching for. Remember, you have a fan in me. I'll be cheering you from the sidelines. Keep up the great work. This damn stalker, man. I feel like I'm being stalked over here. Can you, Scott, calm it down a bit? Yeah, thanks. So, we've done that. Let's go ahead and head over to... Over yonder. Route 120. So, we've already got an account for Route 120. And that was the suit, the sea dot. We tried to get a static uh, thing here, but that didn't work. Do you have any moves that can strike a flying Pokemon? Um, well, I do. And I got flinched by Crunch. Really? Down goes that monster. Oh, Cyndaquil! 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 <laughs> Sadly, I had to do The game made me do it. I'm sorry. The game made me do it. Okay, so now Pancake's level 35. I mean, he's molly whopping the competition over here. So Patriot will now step out now. Your party Pokemon, do you have different types? Yes, I do actually. So we have a Caravana and a Ditto. Okay. Let's, uh, let's... We gotta get rid of that Ditto straight away. Otherwise, it's gonna become one of our Pokemon, and that could be a problem. Choice Ben Ancient Power, Ditto. No way would you live that. Not even with a Metal Powder. No way would you live with just a Metal Powder. No freaking chance. But we're getting that money, though. We get another Double Battle up in here. Yo, you wanna throw down? You got a Beautifly and a Smoochum. Okay. Um, let's Ancient Power with the Beautifly. That would Molly Whop it. Let's go for a Vine Whip. As I said last episode, the Papillon. Super effective. Down goes the uh, Beautifly. A Chimeco. Okay, that does about half. Alright, so we're going to have to Ancient Power the. We'll Ancient Power the Chimeco and we'll Vine Whip the Smoochum. And let's hope we actually break through confusion. Because I mean. That one battle in the gym where we just hit ourselves multiple times was just ridiculous. We do hit through and we kill the Smoochum, thank god. And that's a Wish Cash. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. That is funny. Because a Vine Whip would Molly Whop this Wish Cash, but we get confused. Headbutt. That was a crit. Good lord. Bite it up. Sandry took care of it. <laughs> and here I was thinking I could rely on my PD. A Petra Berry, speaking of. Okay. Another cut section here. Pokemon have many special abilities. If you want to become a first class trainer, learn about them. Um, excuse me, I know all about it, thank you very much. I fly and I kill your Pokemon, that's what I think. Now, is this a new area? I'm pretty sure this is still the same area. Route 120. Wait, when did it become 120? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, is this all Route 120? Wait a second, <gasps> we got about Totodile. Wait a second, is that all Route 120? So, okay, so Route 120. So that is all still one route. Oh, well, that's annoying. That's annoying to say the least. Alright, well look. I'll wrap this episode right here. I'll heal up a Pokemon. 
Um, maybe I'll have a Pokemon with Cut in the team just so we can get those little Cut things. And then, yeah, we'll continue from where we left off. So, guys, I will say to you guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you like the button down below because, as always, just a plus great. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke as we continue heading down south. Uh, what's up to Fortree? It's Mosty, I believe that's the news. So, you've got to surf over. Uh, we've got to use Moss. Fly, uh, bleh, surf to Moss Deep and take on the twins of Liza and Tate. So that would be interesting. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later.